The reason on boys and girls in this video I will show you how to edit like this using Premiere Pro. This scene is from Who's and Gold video. Do check it out. I will put the link in the description. So let's get into the video. First, let me go to the new item. Sequence. Horizontal 1080. Vertical 9020. Press OK. Again, go to new item. Color mat. Use the type tool and go to add the test. Let me change the font type and size over here. You can also go to Windows, Essential Graphics, adjust the scale, font type. Let me align this as center. I'm going to add another test over here. Go to effects and add drop shadow to the bottom test layer. This is for creating a glow effect. Select the color picker and select the color white. Adjust the softness and opacity. For this YouTuber test layer, decrease the opacity. Select both test layer and right click Nest. Let me add some images. Add basic 3D. Decrease the scale size. And under basic 3D, change swivel and distance to image. Let me place this test layer on top. I'm going to add some images below this test layer. Add basic 3D in each one of them. Adjust swivel, tilt, and distance to image. Let me nest all these images. Use the type tool and go to add another test. Increase the scale size. Uncheck fill color. Check stroke. Change stroke color to red. Now if you want, you can add flicker effect to the test layer. Just double click on the test in sequence. Under drop shadow, set keyframe for opacity. Go one frame forward, change opacity to 0. Again go one frame forward, change opacity to 100. Copy all these keyframes and go one frame forward and paste it. Now go back to main sequence. Set keyframe for rotation for the test layer at the beginning of the timeline. Change to 30 degree. Set keyframe for scale and increase the scale size. Go few frames forward and change the rotation to 0. Scale to 100. Let me nest these two layers. Let me add one paper texture image and one in-group video into the timeline. Add track my key into the paper texture video. Place the paper texture video above the background sequence. Place the ink drop video above the paper texture video. Change the mat to video 3, which is where the ink drop video is placed. Change to luma mat. Check reverse.
selecting drop video and set a keyframe for scale. Go few frames forward and increase the scale size. Let me go few frames forward and increase the scale size of a screenshot image. Now I'm going to add the flicker effect to the test layer. Just select the layer and cut it each frame using Razor tool. And delete it like this. Using Type tool, I'm going to type a test. Let me increase scale size of the screenshot image. Let me add another test and place it over here. Now I'm going to cut this as a meme test layer over here. Next these two test layers. Go to effects and add basic 3D. Under basic 3D, set keyframe for distance from image. Go for press forward as is a value to minus 2D. Now set a keyframe for position, go a few frames forward and change the test to left. Let me add the gate image to the timeline. Go to new item, add black video at bottom. Go to effects and add tin to the gate image. Change map black to and white to blue. Change the rotation to minus 90. Uncheck uniform scale and change the scale width and height. Now I'm going to set a rectangle shape tool. Draw a rectangle box like this. Uncheck fill and check stroke. Let me change the rectangle shape tool color to white and the image to white. Go to effects and add basic 3D to rectangle shape image. Set keyframe for swivel. Go keyframes forward, change swivel angle. Now I'm going to set a keyframe for scale. Decrease the scale size a little bit. Go a few frames forward and increase the scale size. Let me add an adjustment layer. Go to effects and add 4 color gradient. Change blending mode to overlay. Now I'm going to change color 4 to violet, color 3 to white, color 2 to violet and color 1 to white. Let me add some videos into the timeline. Place it below the adjustment layer. Add basic 3D to all these 4 video layers. Now I'm going to adjust the position and say swivel and tilt. Select the adjustment layer and change all colors to violet. Now I'm going to nurse all these layers. Go to effects and add basic 3D.
Check keyframe for swivel at the beginning. Go free press forward and change the swivel angle. Also set keyframe for scale at the beginning. Go free press forward and increase the scale size. Let me go to effects and add tint to the black video. Change the map white to color change to dark violet. Now for the final touch up, add grainy video overlay over here. Change blend mode to screen. Add light overlay video over here. Change blend mode to overlay. Finally, add another light video and change blend mode to soft light. Add a new adjustment layer, add camera blur. Percent blur to 2. In here, you can see the track match is to null. Go to mat and select the video where the intro video is placed, which is video 6. After all that done, I am going to export the video. Import the video again and go to effects and add posterize time. Change frame rate to 12. Yeah, and that's it ladies and boys and girls. If you find this video useful, give a like. Subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of tutorial videos. If you want to know how to delete Danko in Premiere Pro, check out this video right here. If you want to know how to delete Mangazi in Premiere Pro, check out this video right here. And thank you for watching.